Welcome back. Well, cat's out of the bag. Season 2 is all jam beam. Last week, we started off at ground level. The classic white label and its level up, the single barrel. We also had our first inner brand ranking, and the white label lost to Evan Williams Black, meaning Jim Beam White Label is at the very bottom of the rank so far, and it also scored a gut-wrenching 2. Poor thing. But not all hope is lost on Jim Beam. Although we didn't include it in the other bourbon rankings, the single barrel was quite tasty, and it is an approved level up should you happen upon it. Now let's see what else the Jim Beam Company has in store for us. Now you've probably seen this bottle nestled right in with the Jim Beam assortment. And you've probably looked at it and said, eh? And then you probably looked up reviews and saw things like, oh, it's a man's man's whiskey. And you probably thought to yourself, well, I gotta prove I'm a man. devil so tough and so manly okay full disclosure i'm not a big fan of the name and not just for obvious reasons but also because of the whole machismo oh let's see how tough you can be thing i just like when the quality of a product speaks for itself and this just seems gimmicky all that aside the bourbon is around 20 bucks so manly 90 proof so manly extra aged so manly and the whole shtick behind it is they blend it with bourbon that was soaked into the barrel walls during aging and then extracted. They're referencing the angel share. So what is the angel share? Angel share is when the alcohol escapes the barrel during aging. You can usually count on the proof of whiskey going down the longer it ages in the barrel. So Jim Beam is calling the whiskey that soaked into the barrel walls the devil's cut. And it all sounds so manly, but does it live up to the story? Well, let's find out. I'm literally getting a severe w tornado warning. Let's try this again. <laughs> Screw cap. So manly. On the nose, I'm getting nail polish, black cherries, and peanuts. It's actually not that bad. For taste, I get tree bark and peanut shells, like I'm eating tree bark. Mystery taster had it with ice, and he got mild nutty, not very sweet or fruity, but smooth and easy. This is a two, a very low two, like 2.0, which I'm sure someone's gonna disagree with. It's not gross, but it makes sense why it tastes like you're drinking a chunk of wood. And there's no way you should buy this instead of the Evan Williams Black. I will retain this bottle for ranking purposes only and will not buy it again. In fact, I've debated whether or not to rank bottles that score less than a 3 anyway, since what's the point? I'm not recommending you buy them anyway. But since we're here now, and we're still ranking them, this loses to white. Which means it's the worst Jim Beam bottle we've had so far, and it's the worst bottle we've had on the other bourbon. But you know, that's why we're here. To help you avoid these disappointing buys. I just saved you 20 bucks. We should celebrate. Now where did I put that bottle of- 